Are you aware of the day of the week when Jose Rizal was born in June 19, 1861? Are you aware that on December 8, 1941, 10 hours after the attack of the Pearl Harbor, the Japanese military invaded the Philippines? What day of the week was it? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. To be able to understand our lesson well, I would like to introduce a new word called Odd Day. It is a word referring to the extra day of a complete week. For every code of Odd Day, we have a particular day of the week. Odd Day Zero refers to Sunday. One for Monday. Two for Tuesday. Three for Wednesday. How about four? Is this for Thursday? Five for Friday. And the last one, six for Saturday. To get the number of odd days, all you have to do is divide it by seven. Let me cite an example. For ten days, divided by seven is equal to one week with a remainder of three days. At ang remainder ay tatawagin natin odd day. At ang odd day three ay katumbas ng Wednesday. Let's take a look with nine days. Nine divided by seven is equal to one with a remainder two. Odd day two corresponds with Tuesday. The next thing to discuss is the table of the first 40 years, indicating kung ilan ang leap year at saka nyan leap years. Sa table na ito, dito natin makikita kung ilang leap years at saka nyan leap years sa 10 taon hanggang 40 taon. Dito sa table na ito, dito natin makikita ang number of leap years at ang number of Lipier. Ang isang lipier ay meron 366 days. Pag ito ay yung dinibay by 7, ito ay meron siyang extra dalawang araw called the odd day. Ang non-lipier naman ay meron lang siyang extra day na isa. Ngayon, ang tanong, paano natin nasasolve yung number of odd days? Sa sampung taon, meron tayong dalawang leap year at saka walong taong non-leap year. So, anong gagawin natin? Total number of odd days is equal to the odd days of the, the leap year times 2 plus the number of odd days ng non-leap year. Now, we will divide this number by 7. And we will get a remainder of 5. This 5 will become the odd day of the 10 year period. And 5 corresponds to Friday. Let's continue with the first 20 years. Number of leap years is equal to 20 divided by 4, which is equal to 5. The total number of non leap years, 20 minus 5, is equal to 15. Now let us solve the total number of odd days for both the leap year and the non-leap year. 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 15 is equal to 25. 
Let's divide 25 by 7 to get... Yes, 3. Remainder 4 and 4 will become the odd day of the 20 year period. Let's continue with the first 30 years. 30 has uh, a number of leap years equal to what? Yes, it is 7. Paano nakuha ang 7? It's 30 divided by 4 is equal to 7. Just get the whole number 7. 30 minus 7 is equal to 23. That becomes the number of non-lip year for the period of 30 years. The total number of odd days can also be found by getting the total number of years plus the total number of lip years. Now we have to divide 37 by 7 to get 5 remainder 2. Day 2 corresponds to Tuesday. Let's discuss the first 40 years. Get the number of lip years. 40 divided by 4 is equal to 10. And to get the number of non-lip years, we will subtract 10 from 40 to become 30. Now let's find the total number of odd days from this 40-year period. 40 plus 10 is equal to 50 divided by 7 is equal to 7 remainder 1. And odd day 1 refers to Monday. This is how to find the number of lip year. Total number of years divided by 4. For any remainder, just get the whole number. At para naman sa mga non-lip year, ito ang kanyang formula. Bagamat ito naman ay hindi masyadong kailangan, kailangan lang natin i-explain upang mas maintindihan ninyo ang pagkuha ng odd days. Basta nakuha na natin ang number of leap years, hindi na masyadong kailangan ang pagkuha ng number of years ng non-lip year. Itong table na ito ay ginagamit natin sa pinaka-final step upang matukoy natin ang day of the week ng specific date na iyo. Ang susunod nating tatalakayin ay ang first 400 years. Ito ay merong 24 lip years and 76 non-lip year. Meron naman itong odd day na 5 Ito ay gagamitin natin sa susunod na centuries na darating. Sa so first 200 years, kailangan lang natin i-multiply by 2 ang dating 5 odd days. 5 times 2 is equal to 10 divided by 7 at meron naman tayong remainder 3. 3 becomes the odd number for the first 200 years. The first 300 years, Ang kailangan lang natin is to multiply 5 by 3 to make it uh, 15 divided by 7. Meron tayong remainder na 1. Please be reminded that in uh, the first 400 years, we are not just uh, multiplying 5 by 4, but we are adding 1 odd day. So uh, 20 plus 1 is equal to 21 divided by 7 is equal to... Remember that for every 400 years, it is a leap year and it will be reset into zero. In other words, December 31st, year 400, is a Sunday. Here is another table valuable in solving the problem on odd days. All months with 31 days have an odd day. Day of 3. These are the months of January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. Likewise, months with 30 days has 2 days odd day. These are the months of April, June, September, and November. For February, it can have 28 or 29 days depending of the year. 
Let's try to solve our first example. Napakadaling isolve ito dahil ang hinahanap ay yung araw ng katapusan ng taon. December 31, 2000. The day is equal to zero. Therefore, December 31st, 2000 falls on a Sunday. Here is another example. This time it's not uh, December 31 kundi lampas ng December 31. We are looking for the week of the day on January 6th year 2000. Na si lahat, kailangan natin hati-hatiin ang year 2000. Hiwalay natin ang kumpletong taon at ang hindi pa kumpleto. Ang 1600 ay divisible by 400 at kung divisible by 400 ito, ito ay leap year at ang leap year for every 400 years ay Sunday. So, ang odd day niya ay zero. Kailangan na lang ng 300 years upang mapuno ang 1900s. Dahil alam na natin kung ilan ang odd day ng 300 years, mas madali na lang natin isolve. We refer to the table on uh, first 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, and the last one is 400 years. Ang 99 naman, ito yung mapupuno ng hanggang December 31, 1999. Ang susunod na step natin ay para hanapin ang odd day ng 99 years. We all know that 100 years has 5 odd days. Now, we are going to subtract 1. Ayong kompleto na tayo sa paghahanap ng mga odd days ng kompletong taon, yung mga natitirang araw na lang ang ating hahanapin. Sa unang buwan ng January, meron lang siyang 6 days. Now, we are going to find the sum of all the odd days. 0 plus 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 11 divided by 7 is equal to 1 remainder 4. Therefore, January 6, 2000 falls on a Thursday. Upang mas madali natin gawin ito, pwede tayong mag-cross out ng 7. 1 and 6. What is left is 4, and 4 corresponds to Thursday. Let's recap. February 15, 2021 falls on a Monday. I hope you learned something today.
Ako po si Karen Jason Gordula, lola po ni Sak Harvey Gordula ng Los Baños, Laguna. Sa murang edad pa lang na tatlong taon ay nakitaan na namin si Sak ng kakaibang interes sa pagbabasa at pagbibilang. Simula grade 1 ay nakasali na siya sa iba't ibang kompetisyon sa matematika. Naranasan na din niya makipagkompetensya sa ibang bansa tulad ng Singapore at Vietnam. Na sa kabutihang palad, umuwi po siya na may dalang medalya at tropeyo. Sa panahon pong ito ng pandemic, si Sak po ay patuloy ding sumasali sa mga kompetisyon sa pamamagitan na online. Ang first term ay 20 pages. So 20 plus May training po siyang sinasalihan. Ang IBFC na mapanghanggang ngayon ay patuloy pong nagtuturo ng iba't ibang teknik sa ma matematika po ng libre. Opo, libre po. Sa panahon ngayon, wala na po atang patulad ng IBFC na matiyagang nagtuturo ng walang bayan. Kaya salamat po kay Sir Ed Edward Agdepa, ang mentor ng mga kids ng IBFC, sa paglinang ng kanilang kaalaman sa panahon ng pandemya. Patuloy pa po silang tumatanggap ng mga estudyante na willing pong matuto ng walang bayan. Salamat po ng marami, Sir Edward. Salamat, IVFC. Mabuhay po kayo. For parents who are interested with our program, kindly search on our FB page called IVFC Info Page. This program is brought to you by iVolunteer for Filipino Children. Join po kayo.